Good morning everybody. It is bright and early on a Saturday morning um, and today is sourcing day. It's yard sale day, it's church rummage sale day, it's all kinds of cool stuff and actually this Saturday I kind of need to clone myself according to a yard sale treasure map which is the app that I use to find uh, all of the different sales. Not sponsored, just figured I'd mention it. Um, so like within a five mile radius of me today, I think there's like four neighborhood sales, there's five church roaming sales, like it's insane. Um, so I'm standing early-ish, it's 7.30, but there is one just down the road from me um, that is having a rummage sale. It starts at 7.30, so I figured I'd have a little bit of a lie-in, as it were, um, and then just start there, and then I'll probably swing back, pick up the rest of the gang, um, and I will go ahead and crack on and see what kind of stuff we find. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. I feel super blessed to be out here uh, doing this, especially because I get to swing back and pick up the family as well, and I hope you guys have an amazing Saturday sourcing too. Talk to you in a bit. now um, it did it was really good it was filler bag I found a bunch of cool stuff a lot of like quirky vintage stuff which I love to sell uh, and a few hard goods as well so stay tuned for that at the haul at the end of this video and then I also hit up a um, yard sale that's like one street up from me and that was really good as well for some shoes and clothes and things like that um yeah so now I guess we're gonna go find another neighborhood sale or another church sale again five mile radius they're all around us today um and it is 10 o'clock so I've been at it now for what two and a half hours something like that um and we still have a long way to go <laughs> As you probably saw at the beginning of the video, my name is Carly, this is my channel, The Poetry of Nice, and I am an online reseller. I sell on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark, and this is my haul from yard sales and rubbish sales today. So it's currently Sunday, obviously yesterday was Saturday, and that's like sourcing day for me. So um, yesterday I went out to two church rubbish sales, two neighborhood yard sales, and then one uh, yard sale that I just happened to stumble across in my own neighborhood. Not the same one from the other haul video, I should say, but still a pretty good one anyway um, and so I'm going to show you everything that I picked up essentially I got 115 items in total and I spent $83.50 for the whole morning um, and so that breaks down to roughly 73 cents a piece um, on average for everything that I'm going to show you today I'm going to let you know it's a lot of stuff. So it's primarily clothing with some shoes and then a few hard goods and things like that thrown in. Um, just to give you an idea, this is one box right here. It's big. Um, and then uh, there's like another bag and a few other bits and bobs. So my suggestion would be if you're here for the long run for this whole video, grab a drink, grab a snack, 
get comfy and I'm gonna try and do it lightning round style so I'm gonna try not to uh, go too in depth with each and every item I'll show the labels where I can I'll give you an idea why I decided to pick up the items very very succinctly uh, but yeah let's crack on okay so first of all I'm gonna show you a few items that I grabbed that I may be keeping for myself this piece right here button down very very light it's a full lace back I know that this is either free people or anthropology unfortunately the label has been cut out and um, but it has the 66170 um RN number so I'm probably going to be keeping this for myself just because I don't know exactly what brand it is and it's really cute as well this one may be for me as well but otherwise I'm going to sell it purely on style the brand is so Perla I do not think that that is anything significant but it's really cute it has a lemon print it has like ruffle short sleeves and then a peplum hem really really cute with a coral color as well uh, this I could not resist so um, I will say that the rubbish sales that I went to the second one I have never been to before and it took some digging to find some good stuff but there was some good stuff there um, and it was filler bag they were both filler bag the, the second one not when I got there when I first got there it was like three dollars per top and four dollars per dress so I started picking stuff and whatever then at, at about one o'clock they announced that it was now everything was half price and all clothing was filler bag for five dollars fill a bag being like a grocery size bag so I filled my giant bag just like I did at one of the other sales that I went to and I told you guys about and when I went to go check out she looked at it and she said we'll just call it one bag five dollars which is unbelievable um and then I ended up picking up a few extra pieces while I was waiting for my husband to swing back around and pick me up so I went and donated a bit more money because it was for a missions trip um, but it was really really nice of them to give me such a good deal and then the first one is like two minutes from my house and every single time I go I know what I'm looking for I'm looking for plus size sort of more mature pieces like Talbot's and Land's End and I'm looking for quirky vintage stuff that's pretty much what I find every single year there and I was not wrong this time as well that is pretty much what I walked away with so this is one of those pieces like quirky vintage whatever and um, it's a button-up shirt western style obviously and then it has all of these like embroidered applique details and these are actually almost like a it's like a gold almost like a rose gold tint to it and then it goes all the way around the back um it, the brand is nothing important it's called side saddle um but yes really really cool so i'll be styling that and i think that that will do pretty damn well next is something i like to pick up um around here whenever i can i store it away till fall that's the tag it's just a vintage tennessee vols t-shirt like graphic t-shirt um i pick up the t-shirts i pick up the sweatshirts and the jackets when i find them vintage not the current ones um and come uh sort of august september i'll start listing those on mass for when people are heading out to school actually maybe even july just depends when people know where they're going and then when football season kicks in in september october they're there as well and i tend to send the t-shirts for about 20 to 25 the sweatshirts for 30 to 35 and the jackets around the same maybe a little bit higher uh, this is picked up just from my Etsy store. I don't know. Um, it's like a cruel embroidered pillow, super 70s vibe. It's got an owl, a seashell, mushrooms, flowers, and it says mad in the middle. So I don't know. I just kind of grabbed it. I'm not too sure. Um, but yes, and it's like a, a velvet on the back, as you will. So Etsy, there we go. Actually, Christina from Little Black Hanger, by the way, if you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely should. I will link it down below. Uh, if you happen to catch this video, I know I tagged you on Instagram anyway. If you want it, uh, DM me and I'm going to send you that for free because it has all of your vibes and it needs a good home. <laughs> Okay, next piece is uh, Worthington. This is for me as well as a popover blouse, but I do love myself a good windowpane plaid, which is what this wi uh, wide plaid sort of check pattern is called. So that's just going to be for like summer, fall, whatever. Okay, on to the things that I'm actually going to be selling, because <laughs> that's probably what you're here for. So uh, first one is this sort of, it's a dress. It has almost like a... Uh, like a bubble hem where it's like tighter at the bottom and then it's kind of like shift in the middle and it has all of this rivet detail both bronze colored and like a silver color and it's a size large and the brand is cachet usually the more embellished pieces do the best with this brand i'm not sure it's actually being made anymore um, but that'll probably go up for 30 to 35 
Next piece is Talbot's. This is one of the newer tags. It's a size large, but I really, really like the style. It's black short sleeve and it's hard to show you because it's black on black, but it has like a scalloped wide neck. Just a very simple structured piece. So that should do pretty good as well. So as I was leaving the first rummage sale, I just happened to walk past the ties, like the neckties. I don't usually rifle through those. I'll look at hats and shoes and occasionally bags and stuff, but I don't really do the ties. However, I kind of like shifted them around for a second and spotted some stuff that caught my eye. And I'm glad that I did because there was a whole bunch of it. So first one, vintage Disney tie. This is Mickey kind of like singing in the rain style. Um, the brand is Mickey Unlimited. This is an older piece. Um, next one, another Mickey Unlimited. I love this one. This is like Mickey with a storm brewing outside, closing his blinds. I don't know. It's I just think that's really cool. Okay, so grab that one. And this one is Garfield. Um, it's an Easter one, unfortunately, but you know, it can hang out for now. I don't really mind. Another vintage Mickey Unlimited one. This is the, I guess it's the Fab Five playing music. No, Minnie's not there. Never mind. It's just the dudes playing music. There we go. Uh, this one I grabbed just because of the graphics. I don't know anything about it. Stonehenge. I don't know. It's Wall Street and it's got like all of the icons of Wall Street. So I figured that there's somebody there might like that. And hey, I just noticed it has the Twin Towers. So yeah, somebody might really like that. We'll see. This one, I think this is older. It kind of shows my age that I still think of Spongebob as a new thing. Uh, it's made in Korea, um, but it's a Spongebob necktie and oh, Spongebob square tie. And it's square. There we go. All right. <laughs> Someone somewhere may like that. Um, and bear in mind, this was filler bag, so I just stuffed these down the side of my bags just to like <laughs> explain that a little further. And this is kind of like a, almost like a tartan look to it, and it's Looney Tunes. Um, and that's from the 90s as well. So there we go. I love selling neckties. Super easy to photograph, super easy to list, super easy to ship. All right, I have no idea what I have here. So <laughs> again, filler bag. Sometimes I grab things just so that I can look at them later and decide if I want it. You know, some things go into the donate bag, some things end up, um, I get them home and I realize there's flaws and things like that. So, you know, when it's when it's so cheap and it's filler bag, sometimes it's easy to do that so that you can like keep going and cover more ground, I suppose. This says on it, vintage 1950s American Red Cross uniform with one year pin was not $10, like I said, filler bag. Um, this is what it looks like, the patch right here. Um, the tag inside says Robin Dale. Again, don't know much about that, um, but what it is, is it's like this little shirt and it goes over what I assume is like a little, almost like a little pinafore set. Um, yeah, I, I don't know anything about it at all, but I'm interested. Again, it's stuff that I don't usually pick up and I like to learn while I'm doing this. You've got to keep it interesting. So uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay, this is a big old beach tote. Um, and I grabbed it purely because it is this Disney Cruise Line Castaway Key. All embroidered there. Um, and the Disney Cruise Line stuff can do pretty good. It is not cheap. So when I see it and it's, you know, a really good price, I do tend to grab it. It does have a following. Um, this is BCBG Max Azria. There we go. It's a size extra, extra small, and boy, is it. But it's um, really cute. It's a bodycon, um, like, sort of very tight-fitting skirt. And then it has almost like a, it's like a speckled, crackle type look to it, but it's kind of a rose gold look to it. So, um, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Next is just a Nike golf shirt. Dry fit. You probably know what that looks like anyway. Um, it does have a company on the side, Ed Financial. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to have to disclose that. But uh, usually you can still squeeze sort of 12 to 15 out of those. Okay. Next is a brand that I have not picked up before but i have heard of it so i spotted it and went ahead and grabbed it size large it is jack which i think is associated with bb dakota if i'm not wrong anyway the dress itself is really really cute and like i said it was a large let me go ahead and do the zipper up so you can actually see the shape of it oh we have a pull to the seam that's okay i can fix that um okay so it is a really nice striped sort of kind of like a sheath dress really kind of like comes in at the waist and then the back is really really pretty as well it has like a crossover detail so I just need to go ahead and uh, reinforce that seam and disclose it in the listing and then it'll be ready to go up 
Okay, this is Matilda Jane, Serendipity Matilda Jane, size 12. So this is an older girl's uh, pants or whatever, but it's just like a, it's like a little psychedelic print and it's got the ruffle cuffs as well. This is a mini Bowden size 11 to 12, just a little long sleeve, blue top. Uh, this is Hannah Anderson. We got all the kids brands here apparently size 110. You can go on their website to find out. Oh, hello. And you go on their website to sort of uh, give you an idea of what that sizing actually means for your listing to help your buyers. And it's like a little sort of tiered style uh, skirt, peasanty skirt. So, okay, this will be going away probably in my fall box as well, just so I can prioritize spring summer. Uh, Michael by Michael Kors. It's a size extra large. I don't pick all of this up, but it's like a nice quilted sort of vest. Some of these things I actually walked past when I was shopping, I have to say. And then when they said, fill a bag, I kind of circle back around and grab the things that I had hummed and hard about because what have you got to lose at that point, pretty much. Um, BD, blah, 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 blah. BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. Um, just a grey scoop neck pullover. Uh, vintage, this is Nutcracker, and it's actually a plus size, which is good. It's a 1X. Um, I pick these up. I've told you guys before, I pick these up all season long um, vintage Christmas sweaters, just like I do the vintage collegiate wear. I stow them away until close to the time and then I just start listing them en masse um, and I do really well come October, November, December with vintage, with like ugly Christmas sweaters, if that's what you want to call them. But this one's cool. So it has the mock turtleneck and then it has like a lace look to it as though somebody has sort of a... Uh, done some kind of crafting work with a little Christmas house. I don't know, it's definitely unusual. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This is Ann Taylor, size 14. I do like the exposed zipper on the back with like the little faux leather pull. Um, and it is a wool blend forest green, like straight knee length skirt. And then we have another one as well, which is also a size 14. So I could lock them together. I don't know if I will. Uh, just a gray wool blend skirt of the same kind of style. Um, we've got some capris with a button detail, like a snap button detail, and they are Lucky Brand. They are a size 10. There we go. Um, and they are the Legionnaire Crop. Hmm, okay. Um, they should do okay. <laughs> Maybe 15 or so. Um, this one is, I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope I'm going fast enough. I don't know. Anyway, we've got to get through so much. Let's do this. Uh, One World. This is a size 3X, which is why I grabbed it. I like this brand for low cost and in the plus sizes. And it is popover, kind of like a very thin knit top. It has like a snake print to it and then floral watercolor. What is next? Uh, oh, it is hot cotton, size extra large. This one is cotton. I do prefer the linen pieces, but that's okay. And it's got like an embroidered detail around the neck, uh, three quarter sleeve. And I just spotted a stain, so that goes through the wash. This one, the size tag is cut out, but I don't really mind too much. It's J. Crew newer label. It does have the tag down here, which is going to give me the style number and things like that, so I can find the actual name of it. And it's a navy blue and red sequined sweater, and I believe it's a mohair blend. This is Sunday in Brooklyn, extra large. That's an anthropology brand. Super nice shirt, like kind of boho feel to it. It is all sort of crochet lace with like little pom-poms and things like that all over. Uh, so yes, good find. I also really like this piece. What can I say? So it's Zara denim, but this is made out of tinsel. I don't know. Um, it's a size US small. Oh. Let me show you the label. There we go. Um, and it is a dress in like an army green with tabbed sleeves. Just really, really cute and casual for spring and summer. These I did not have a chance to look up yet and I'm not sure if they were worth me buying or not. I grabbed them because they were new. New with tags, the official Pro Rodeo competition jeans, the cowboy cut. They are a child, they are 14 regular youth basically. Um, but like I said, brand new rodeo season is here it's coming something like that so i'll list them as soon as possible 
Um, this is a Talbot's piece. Talbot's Petite. It's size 14, which is why I grabbed it. I also grabbed it because it is long button front and it has long sleeves. It's a plaid check. Um, it's really long and it has the belt with it and what I will do is put the word modest in the title for this and believe it or not those sell really really quickly for me whether they're like this or denim whatever they are they seem to move well all right this is just a pair of adidas adidas whatever <laughs> uh, size large um, just track pants the tri-stripe track pants so uh, yeah probably what 15 to 20 on those maybe okay this one is a Talbot's plus size 1x there we go um, and it's a cute little button-up lightweight blouse and the print on it is a bird print which is super sweet this is a Land's End piece I believe again it is a plus size a oh, lot it's a there it is gosh you have to humble so it's 1x and it's shaped is what it actually says on it i don't know if it's going to pick up or not there we go um but what it is is it is a turtleneck hurrah we got there um and it's a black and white floral it says shape for whatever reason long sleeve so again that's very much a fall type item this is a vintage Wrangler shirt. It doesn't have what I would call pearl buttons, because pearl snap buttons, um, because they're like the black color or whatever, but it does still have the snap button front. Um, and it's just like a striped Western cowboy shirt, black and red. This one is Simply Southern Collection. There we go. Um, it's a size extra large and it is a long sleeve which is pretty good and then the back says uh, butter of the south I don't know it has mayonnaise on it I've lived here for eight years but I don't know what that means so okay so this is a little set it is the pants and the little uh, sort of quarter zip pop over long sleeve top and it is uh, Patagonia this would be a better one to it so it's Patagonia so I probably will sell it as a set it does have a little bit of wear like the odd little pull here and there I may just put it through the laundry and see what I can sort of deep hill and all that kind of stuff worst case scenario I'll sell the pants for around 15 and just redonate this we will see okay so the next one is a new to me brand super cute like a little uh feels like linen are you linen do we know where are you there yes linen blend haha <laughs> um striped blue shorts with a ruffle detail and pockets which is very cute um size medium and they're by drew which i believe is sold in anthropology although i don't know that this is necessarily an anthropology piece but the comps did look fairly good on those okay next is banana republic size 10 i actually grabbed these because i already have them in my store so listing is going to be really easy just a pair of like kind of like slacks like dress pants and they are white or cream with an embroidered blue sort of polka dot style so i'll just kind of redo my photos i'll copy and paste the listing and change the measurements and stuff like that this is victoria's secret size medium um i actually really like grabbing there we go uh these so they are the long sleeve like cotton nightgowns and these seem to go pretty quickly for me in my experience so it's embroidered across the front like spell out this is like a hot pink color this is cold water creek size eight i grabbed it because of the style not really because of the brand or anything like that it is a wide leg cropped chambray uh style pant perfect for the season Next one is a size 12 and it is Free People. Well, there we go. And it's like a sort of, not really a mustard, but like a brown colored uh, denim sort of high-waisted mini skirt. Next one is obviously going away in the Christmas box. Party sweater, I don't know, size large. I don't know about the brand. I don't care about the brand. Uh, it's Meowy Catmus, obviously. <laughs> There we go, it'd be 
Okay, next is a brand I'm not familiar with and I think it may have been a not very good buy, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna test it out and I'll let you know. Um, it's paper denim and cloth. I have no idea where it is sold, size 14, um, but it is just a sort of, like a straight leg, maybe a slight boot cut to it, medium wash jean. Uh, next is J Jill, the perfect Pima. Hmm. There we go. Um, and it's a striped, almost like a little watercolour striped long sleeve top. I do like the Pima cotton uh, for J Jill. That does seem to do fairly well for me. And then this one. So I'm taking off the garage sale tags as I go. <laughs> uh, size large, LuLaRoe. Um, I just kind of like threw it in there or whatever. There we go. Um, and it is a yellow and black. Kind of reminds me of a wasp. <laughs> um, it's striped really, but just like, you know, one of these tops. I'll Google it, I'll figure out exactly which one it is. Next one is Umji Plus, so it's a size 1XL, um, and it's really, really pretty. So it's navy blue, it is a dress, so it has a uh, little sort of crochet lace detail on both the bottom hem and on the very, very wide, kind of like almost bell sleeve style short sleeves. Um, so that is super cute. I think that that will do pretty good. Okay, next is Disney Star, size extra large. I'm not sure if this is an older piece. It makes me think of an older piece, I have to say. Um, but it's a dark wash denim button up shirt and it's just Mickey Mouse and says like since. Uh, what is it? I should know this. 1928, does that sound right? Okay, um, yeah, so that's nice. And I think that's a woman's. Next is a bra. It is Kashik, Kashik, however you want to say it, 44D, so it's a good size. Oops, didn't mean to knock the camera. Um, and it's a lacy number with like a lime green. Uh, you've got the black lace overlay is what I would say with kind of like a mint green underneath. And I think it's gonna say on the tag as well the exact type of bra that it is, which is always really, really useful. She says, and it doesn't, <laughs> but sometimes, uh, sometimes when you look here with this brand or Victoria's Secret, it'll actually say the name and that is very useful and should definitely go in your title. Next is a scrub top. I have sold this one multiple times before. It's perfect for the season. It's just Mickey and Minnie, but it's a really cute, uh, like Hawaiian sort of tiki design. So yeah, pretty much when I see this one, I always grab it because I like the print and it does sell. It's a size large. I grabbed some vintage fabric. It was not very much money. Actually, there's a whole wad of it. There's a whole bunch. So there's like a floral gingham. There's one with apples. And then there's this one with like, has French, I think, all over it. And like little balloons and stuff like that. So um, I have some good luck pretty much selling vintage fabric. So I decided to just give that a go. Got one more scrub top. This one is Koi. I was hoping that they would have more of this at the yard sale because uh, there was scrubs galore, but this was the only Koi one that I could find. It was a size small. There we go. I do like selling this brand. It's got a very cute sort of pink and black floral print. Um, yeah, very nice. So probably list that one for around 20. Did pick up one perfume there. Um, I picked it up because it was only a dollar obviously evened out to 73 cents you know what i'm saying it was estee lauder and it looks like it's basically full it looks like maybe it's been used just a couple of times it's sensuous nude and it's the 10 mil i think is how much no 100 mil just kidding 100 mil that's right um and so it looks like i might be able to get sort of 25 or so for this I did pick up a pair or a couple of pairs of shoes at that one yard sale as well. Uh, these ones were marked for just a dollar, so that was an easy uh, grab. Cole Horn, made in Italy, leather, and they're like a woven loafer. Very, very classic. I think that those will do very well. Um, and the size, in case anyone asks me. Oh, Lord. There it is. Uh, size is 8B, which makes it like a medium width. All right. Uh, next is a cardigan. I don't know anything about this brand, but it's 100% cashmere, so I went ahead and kind of took the chance. That's it right there. I think it's S-H-E-P-H-E. -E. Size medium, but it's a men's. 
um, like I said, grey cashmere cardigan. And the comps look fairly okay for that, maybe like 25 to 35. Okay, Columbia men's size large. I do not pick up all Columbia. This is a button front short sleeve top, but shirt, whatever. It has a uh, like tropical floral print to it, which I thought was kind of nice for the time of year. Next, another cold water creek. It is a 10 petite, but again, it's all about just like the style of it. It's a wide leg and I think cropped, although it's petite, so it may be a full length actually. 100% linen, uh, wide leg pants. This is Talbot, size 16, um, and it is a sort of an ankle pant, I think. It's navy blue with these pink embroidered keys all over, which I thought was kind of unusual. There's some nice keywords there, as it were. <laughs> All right, Lucky Brand, 1X. Super cute, very lightweight cardigan. Very nice. Another Talbot's piece. I won't keep showing you the Talbot's label. <laughs> Size extra large. And I just really liked the print on this. Kind of reminds me of like a William Morris wallpaper or something. But it's like a three quarter length, just a very, very simple wide neck or boat neck top. Uh, women's North Face, size small, that's the tag, and then if you want to make sure that it's a real North Face, there's a hologram usually underneath the tags, just a grey quarter zip long sleeve top. This I just stuffed in the filler bag because I thought it was cool. Um, I don't know anything about the brand, but it's vintage, it's a little like pull over um but it's like a windbreaker style with three quarter length sleeves i honestly haven't seen much like that and i just figured someone out there may like it i don't know okay this one is another talbots this one is a 2x um, and it's just a cardigan with a peacock print all over it so this should do fairly well for both the print and the size this is a jacket by bcbg max Azure again this is size large there we go. And I just thought it was a really nice style again. So it's a navy blue button, sort of like double breasted almost button up. And then it has really nice kind of almost like a poet sleeve where it's like tighter at the bottom and then it kind of flounces out. Uh, there you go. You can maybe see a bit better there. But I thought that was a nice jacket. So again, come fall, very nice, very classic. Now you got a pair of Joe's jeans next. These are the Twiggy Fit, which it says right here on the label. Um, I think they're a decent size as well. They're size 31, so they're not bad at all. They're a nice dark wash. Uh, that is what the tag looks like. Um, and I guess they're almost like a flare, which I would have thought Twiggy would have been a skinny, but oh well. <laughs> One more Talbot's piece. I told you that's what I find at that rummage sale. Size large. This is very cute, very brightly colored. Butterflies and stuff all over three quarter length sleeve. And then a button down detail all the way down the back, which is really, really nice. Okay, next is a dress by Sam Edelman. I have no idea how their clothing does. Size large. Um, again, it kind of got thrown in the filler bag. It's interesting. I will give it that. It has like a flouncy detail, like on the front ruffle, um, and I guess an elastic waist and then a tiered skirt. So yeah, I have no idea how this is going to do, um, but we'll learn, right? Got a little coach wallet, um, again, 73 cents is how much I would be happy to have into this. Um, it's very classic with like the sort of logo and whatnot. And then inside, it's just like a very small flip wallet. So maybe like 15 to 20 on that. Next is Beach Lunch Lounge, which I really like their stuff. It kind of reminds me of the same vein as Umji in a way. Um, it is a size extra small, but I grabbed it because it is new with the tags and it's an off the shoulder white like peasant top, very kind of festival boho. And it has all the red embroidery down the front and on the cuffs. Oh, this one's a mystery. So this is another one where I know that it is either free people or anthropology because of the RN number and like the style of the tag and stuff like that. I don't think it's Urban Outfitters. I don't think. Um, this is where the tag was, the mystery tag. Um, and I grabbed it anyway, again, the filler bag situation. And because it's tie dye and tie dye is, you know, very popular, very in right now. So it has almost like a little peplum detail at the bottom, thin, strappy, kind of racer back situation, lots of layering. If anybody has ever seen this piece before and knows what the brand is, please let me know. <laughs> I would like to solve the mystery. 
All right, this is another free people piece. This is a size large um, and just a really cute black pop over blouse. Again, lots of embroidery. And then we have some mirror detail down there as well. And then kind of like an open uh, stitch detail on the front as well. Short sleeves, super cute. This one is Free People, but it is an older Free People tag. And I will say one of the yard sales that I went to had loads of Free People, but it was all the older tag, which doesn't put me off, but all the styles were older and not in like the good way. They were sort of very dated for what is in style right now um, and sort of not a lot of detail on them and things like that. So I ended up leaving them behind. I got a few pieces, but which I'll show you, but I left a lot of it behind, which was kind of hard to do for so cheap, but I have comparable pieces in my store already that have been sitting and sitting and sitting and I just didn't feel like putting the energy into listing more just like it. So, uh, free people. Oh, there we go. Um, and it's a size zero, which doesn't help, but I thought that the style was really cute. So it is a halter neck, floral, like very flouncy romper, if you can see that. And the back is super low as well like it's very low back and I just thought it was so nice for the season just a really really cute piece um and so I grabbed it and we'll do what we can next is another newer tags piece it's Gap was originally $59.95 um it's just a little kind of sparkly almost like cut out distress style very very thin knit top um I pretty much grabbed it just because it was new with tags Next is Orvis. I think this is a men's as well. Men's large, 100% cashmere. Again, very dark charcoal grey uh, cardigan. Okay, we have another Land's End. This one is a 2X, another one of the shaped turtleneck long sleeve tops. This one in a very nice sort of dark purple. And then this I thought was kind of cool. So this is vintage. It's by Banjo, which I've sold something by them Western Wear Wise before. Dallas, Texas, made in the USA. It is a size medium uh, i don't think the brand particularly matters i'm just saying that i've come across it before and this is like a prairie skirt so it's got the kind of um again it's not tiered because it doesn't overlap but it has that sort of peasant prairie look to it and then a little bit of detailing at the bottom um i just think that that will do quite well i don't think that it will move fast but i think that someone out there will really like it Next is a little sundress with a keyhole detail at the front and the print is Mickey and anchors, you know, very nautical and it is a size extra large and again, it's that Disney cruise line. So someone out there will definitely scoop that up, I'm sure. Next is Soma. I don't sell a lot of Soma because it doesn't tend to move well for me unless it's like the pajama pieces. However, I thought this piece was really nice. Um, and so I'm giving it another try. Me and Soma, we're gonna try and work it out. So it's a size large um, and it is a long sleeve. It is a dress really, like a tunic dress. Um, and this is all crushed velvet. It definitely reminds me of like a soft surroundings piece, I have to say, and it feels as soft as one of their pieces, but I'm gonna give it a go. I then have another bra. Um, it is an underwire soft cup, and then this one is by Soma. Their bras do well for me. There you go, their bras and their uh, pajamas do well. The rest of it I'm still trying to figure out apparently. Um, this is ooh, another bra. Um, and then this one is Victoria's Secret. I wonder if it says what kind it is. Um, it's a 38 triple D, which is a great size to sell. No. Now that I've, oh, there you go, T-shirt, lightly lined demi. So that is what I would put in my title for that one. And then one more, which I think is another Soma. Let me see. Yes, it's another Soma, similar sizing. This one is sort of embroidered and lacy. Um, I think that's it for bras. This, the size is cut out, but I did ask the lady what she thought it was, and she said she thought it was a 12, so I'll measure. I'll look at the size chart for the brand online, which I may include in my photos, depending on if I have any to spare. And then I'll just disclose that the size tag is gone, but it's a Talbot's. And it's very sort of contemporary, like structured style with this kind of a, the type of collar that it has here, which I'm not sure about keywords, but there we go. It is either 100% wool or wool blend, I'm not sure, and it's a black and blue, kind of like a uh, 
like a mild tweed feel to it button down coat super nice and the Talbot's extra large grabbed it simply for the buffalo print long sleeve that'll go up great in fall this one is Banana Republic, um, size 12, and it is a linen blend blazer, like a sort of long blazer jacket button front. I grabbed it because of the linen and the size. All right, One World, size extra large. Extra large is pushing a little bit for me. I do prefer the plus sizes, but I really like the style of this. It's so brightly colored. It has that Y neckline where like it's not a true V. It kind of has the points here. It's a Y neckline and um, three quarter length sleeves and then just a very, very bold print. Uh, Torrid, I ummed and ahmed on this because it's a size zero, which basically in their vanity sizing I think is like just a large, um, but it's a, sh a semi sheer striped, just kind of like layering piece. So I figured might squeeze 14 to 18 out of that. Okay, J. Crew number two pencil skirt. Unfortunately, it's a size zero petite, so it probably will take a little while to sell. They will sell eventually. They'll just you know may take a little bit longer, but it's just like a nice light brown, um, obviously classic career pencil skirt. Uh, this I grabbed purely because it was new with tags. It is French Connection. Again, it is a smaller size. Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, but the tags were originally $158. It is a strapless yellow sundress with an exposed zipper on the back. I don't really love the style, honestly, because strapless dresses don't do super well for me. Um, however, again, price point, new with tags, decent brand. We'll give it a go. Next is Citizens of Humanity. Um, this is the Ingrid Flair, I think, which I have sold several times before. Well, it says somewhere. Oh yeah, Ingrid Flair, there we go. Um, and it has like a pink embroidery on the back pockets. It's a gray, a gray stonewash jean. Sure. <laughs> Uh, these are just a pair of leggings and they have a mesh cut out down the bottom. They're color block. They're also like mild or heathered um, and they are FP movement, which is free people movement. I haven't actually sold any from that particular free people line yet. So that'll be interesting to learn a bit more about it. Uh, another pair, blah, another pair of free people uh, skinny pants, jeans, whatever you want to call them. They kind of have like a utility look to them. They look like they should be a cargo pant, but they're not. Like I said, they're skinny. These are small. I think they're size 26. All right, here come the rest of the J Crew Zero Petite. Um, I think they're wool and they're career sheath dresses with pockets. So this one is like a navy blue. And then this one is a black with like a little cap sleeve detail to it. Um, I will list them both like at the same time, probably not lotted together, I don't think, unless they're not moving. Um, but I'll list them at the same time so and next to each other in my closet. So hopefully anybody who finds it, I can, I might even link them to each other in the listing. I'm not sure if I can do that. But um, just for the idea that if someone buys one, they may be interested in buying the second one. Um, J Crew Factory, those little diamonds is what tells me that size extra large. This is a wool blend, mint green and cream sort of knit top. Uh, grab this because it was new with tags. Actually from Harry Potter, or the making of Harry Potter, Warner Brothers Studio tour in London. Um, it's a burnout top with a character. I have no idea who that is. Somebody tell me, please because I know nothing about Harry Potter. I know that's blasphemous because I'm British, but oh well. Um, it's extra, extra large. It still has the tag on it, British pounds. There we go, 21.95. So we'll see how that does. Um, Ann Taylor sort of dress pants or trousers. Grabbed them because they were size 16 tall. So that works in their favor and they're cute as well. Just like a, kind of like a tr ooh, trouser slack situation um and the navy blue with a white detail um victoria's secret pink fanny pack whoo hello <laughs> and it's still new with tags as well so there we go 
I've got a pair of boots and I have more shoes to come so brace yourself um, and these are just like a suede leather I so wanted them to fit me and once again they don't um, but they are Sam Edelman there we go just like a lace-up ankle boot um, I really like this as well I liked a lot of things from this haul and I'm having a hard time sort of allowing myself to pick out some pieces uh, this is a woven like straw tote obviously you can see it's very very big and it's toms and um, I was hoping that this might do just a little bit better but it looks like around 25 plus shipping is what I'll be getting there's the inside as well um, but it's in really 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 good shape so I went ahead and grabbed that oh I want to show you this as well so I grabbed this for my mother-in-law and um, I grabbed it it is Spartina de Fusky Island which is right near Hilton Head Island um, and we're regular vacationers like she, she has property down there and stuff uh, for Hilton Head um, and so I grabbed it just because of that essentially this is what that little tag looks like it is a linen like a natural linen and leather purse um, unfortunately the mirror inside is broken but I can show you the other logo as well so I'm giving this to her um, but I wanted to show you it there's that like mermaid if you can kind of see it oh and it actually says in it Spartina 449 de Fusky Island I wanted to share it with you because it's a little bit of a bolo if you can find it cheap enough um, I was looking online and it looks like anywhere from 25 to 35 if not a little bit more for some of these um, so brand new brand to me but hey if you see it give it a second look all right that one's done <laughs> nope they've locked out my light never mind all right so last few things i got shoes and a couple of hard goods to show you so shoes wise um i got some men's chaco sandals they're a men's size 12 just very simple black straps hopefully around 40 or so for those these ones i'm really struggling with so they're Birkies by birkenstock um i love picking up birkenstocks as most resellers do they move really really quickly and for really good money probably anywhere 40 to 60. these are like the really nice gray um tri strap with the back ankle strap there you want to put in your listing either three strap or tri strap because that's the style um and they're my size and they fit and i've been wanting to get a pair for ages I've even been looking on Poshmark for them and just kind of scouting them out and now now that I have them I feel like I can't allow myself to keep them because I know the profit that I can make does that make sense it's like reseller issues I know um but yeah I don't know I'm kind of I'm in an hour and maybe I'll wear them for a little while and sell I don't know we'll see a pair of loafers another pair of coach um these are I think they're called the olive and they're a small size as well I think what are you uh, six and a half six and a half medium anyway super cute probably like 20 to 25 on those a uh, pair of adult keens i'm not sure if they're men's or women's honestly i will just have to double check just like a very classic style and then at the next sale that i went to i found a pair of girls keens pink size five there we go Got a couple of pairs of Clarks, just because they're like such staple bread and butter pieces. Um, I'm not again. I'm not sure if these. I think these are women's, but they're like a larger size. I think they're 11 or 12, which is quite nice. They do have some scuffing and stuff around the back. I will use some leather treatment. Worst case scenario, I might be able to sell them for sort of 15 dollars. Super easy to list. Um, Another pair of Clarks leather, just kind of like Mary Jane style. They're the Clarks Wave. A little pair of leather, kind of almost like a loafer, I suppose you could say, with like a little bit of a heel. And they're Ariat or Aria, whatever you want to say. There's the logo inside. Um, yeah, I haven't sold a whole lot of this, but I know that it's quite an expensive brand and it can do quite well. So we'll be testing the waters with those. And then just a pair of UGG flip-flops they're a size nine again these fit me and they have me um and out of it they're embroidered there's the little tag right there they do have the sherpa lining um just a very simple very lightweight pair of shoes all right on to the hard goods i just have a couple of things to show you so the first one is i saw this on the toy table at the first run of sale uh, for a dollar and it said something fell out uh poly pocket disney world uh which you can only imagine that I scooped it up like just for pure curiosity 
Um, and so, yes, when I got to looking this up, this does really well if you have the full set. I do not have the full set, just to let you know. But just to give you an idea, um, so we have like the Peter Pan ride with the pirate ships. And we have, I guess that this is pretend like it's the clock tower so I guess it's um like the train station and stuff with a little uh little Polly Pocket person holding balloons uh we also I have a bunch of the track the track is all here just pretty much I'm missing the castle and a few little extra characters and stuff like that um I do have the Dumbo ride and then I'm missing one of the like arms for the Dumbo ride but he actually there's look there's even Timothy on top say what okay anyway onwards back to adulting um but actually when you turn it around it goes up and down <laughs> oh i can't help myself i got the teacups i got the carousel i got the little uh train that judged by the weight of it actually moves and then a couple of the like little floats and stuff that go with it and then I have a few characters a few different Polly Pocket characters got like the little pirate cave for Peter Pan again um, and then the only Disney character I actually managed to get was uh, Daisy Duck right there um, but yeah so that's what I've got so judging by what I actually have and what I don't have and looking at comps online I think I can still get around $50 for all of this stuff um, so it's just whether or not I can pry it away from my children and quite frankly from myself in order to sell it I don't know what I would ever do with it as a grown woman but I have a hard time letting it go <laughs> Anyway, I'll let you know how that goes sell-wise. Okay, and the last two things that I have to show you are completely new to me. I don't know, I saw them, they intrigued me. I looked at comps and I decided to take the chance. So here they are, brace yourself. If you don't like dolls, disclaimer, it's like a trigger warning, look away now. Okay, dolls. So here's one. She has this little mark on her forehead. So I believe she's Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon, the anime. Um, she does not have clothes, she just has her undies. And then this one, I mean, they're really beautiful. Um, and then she has like the full outfit. And then on the back of the outfit, this is why I grabbed them. So first of all, they're cool looking. So I had to look a bit closer. It says, pull it. Let me see if I can get it to where you can actually see that label. Right there, pull it. It's P-U-L-L-I-P. -L -L um, and then they're marked on the back of the head as well with something that I can't really pronounce. But <laughs> um, when I looked them up, I was really, really surprised. Um, they, I don't know exactly what these particular dolls go for necessarily. I think she might do quite well as Sailor Moon and I can't find anything on her necessarily. But it's like over a hundred dollars for some of these especially like the brand new ones over a hundred dollars and then some of the ones that are like discontinued and stuff uh really really do get up there so i'm really excited to research these and learn something new also trigger warning part two they blink like they're mechanized and i believe i can move the eyes <laughs> so these are living in the garage away from my family um, until I figure out what to do with them. But uh, yes, I will let you know. I like finding these new things. That's going to be exciting to learn a little bit about. All right, so that is the end of my video. That is my giant haul from Saturday. Now I have to crack on and process most of this. Store some of it away for, like I said, fall and winter. Uh, my death pile, as people like to call it, um, is getting absolutely massive. But... And like most people, I love that for various reasons. So and if you're interested in learning about why I love my death pile, let me know down in the comments and I will do a video on it and explain it all a bit more about how I utilize it to, I don't know, uh, make my business tick over in the way that I do. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much if you made it to the end of this, like a high five, you did a good job. Um, and I hope that your sourcing is going really well as well. I hope your sales are doing fantastic and I will see you in the next video. Bye you guys.